and welcome to Little Ukes. I'm so glad that you're joining me to play the ukulele today. For those of you who are new, Little Ukes is a series of daily ukulele lessons for kids ages four and up, and I will be sharing these videos every single day as long as we're all home together. Today we're learning a song called Ten in a Bed. Maybe you've sung this classic nursery rhyme before. It's a really fun one for counting and playing on our C major chord. So let's go ahead and take a closer look to remember how that C major chord goes. We are going to be putting our finger on the first string, which is called the A string. And I'm gonna count up my frets to the third fret. Let's count together. One, two, three. On my ukulele, I have a cool red sticker right there to show me the spot to play my C major chord. Let's use our pointer finger. Can you point up at the, at the ceiling? Or make a number one and then let's go ahead and gently squeeze the red dot the thumb is going to hang out behind right here kind of hiding behind the neck of the ukulele let's take our right thumb and go <sighs> across the strings <sighs> notice that i'm doing this a little bit above the sound hole so i'm not going here like strings are very firm right here. Here they're soft and comfy on my thumb. So I can strum right there. Doesn't that C major chord make such a beautiful sparkly sound? Let's go ahead and learn the song and then we're going to try it together with a very sneaky twist. So here's how the song goes. See if you can match my strumming. Let's join together in a ukulele heartbeat and see if we can sound like one ukulele as we play together. Can you find the ukulele heartbeat with me? One, two, here we go. There were 10 in a bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. already guessed this from the song, everyone is going to be kicked out of the bed until there's only one left who has the bed all to him or herself. This is a fun song. It has a lot of verses as we go down each number. So we're going to try this with a little bit of a sneaky twist to keep it fun and interesting. I hope you have your listening ears today. Let's go ahead and turn on our listening ears. Are your listening ears on? awesome. I'm going to need you to listen because I am going to change things in the way that I play the song, but you don't know where it's going to happen. It's going to be really sneaky and I'm going to try to make it a surprise. So I might get really loud. I might get really soft. I might get faster. I might get slower. And through all those changes, you and I are going to try to be ukulele twins and play the same way. So I want you to try to stay in the ukulele heartbeat with me, even when I change it. Or to play and sing just as loud or just as soft as I do, even when I change it up. So those listening ears are really gonna help us to know where the changes are in the song. And I bet you will be amazed at how well you can match me, even when you don't know what's coming up next. So let's go ahead and try this together and see what it feels like. Find your C major chord, that's the third fret, of the first string, the A string. I have a red sticker there. Let's go ahead and gently squeeze that spot. Not too hard, not too soft, just right. Here we go. Hmm, this seems pretty normal so far. Can you find a ukulele heartbeat with me?
applause if you kept up with all those sneaky changes and you made it all the way to the end of the song. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for joining me. Some of the things that I changed as I was playing were the volume. That means how loud or how soft the music is. That can also be called dynamics. In music, we have very loud dynamics and very soft dynamics and everything in between to keep the music interesting. I also changed the speed of my ukulele heartbeat. That meant sometimes I was going faster and sometimes I was going slower. And the speed of that heartbeat is called the tempo. And in music, we can have very fast tempos, very slow tempos and everything in between. Sometimes the tempo will stay exactly the same and sometimes it might change to give the music some added variety and interest. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you know anyone who would enjoy these videos, another family or another student, feel free to tag them in the comments below. Also, you can follow along with us using the hashtag little ukes to share your progress. I would love to see what you've been working on and encourage you on your ukulele journey. Happy practicing.